Hello there, welcome to all would be the uh, recap episode of, uh, or rather the Judgment Day. As it could also be called, if I want to attempt a world conquest with Poland, or if I will continue the uh, Ottoman game instead. With Poland we have a couple of issues. We, uh, well, we are positively control over Ireland, but we don't actually have taken anything from the colonizers. France is beginning to look scary strong. And we also have a couple of other issues that need to be worked out. We also have a couple of bad events that have hit pretty damn hard. And I did a couple of uh, blunders with the colonization. So in other words, due to a lot of issues or problems that I've created for myself, we are not in the best spot right now. That's, uh, that's a certainty. We also have a bad relationship with basically everyone around us, mostly. And that is a that's a big issue. The only positive here is that we have uh, vassalized Scotland and we're most likely vassalized Connacht as well. But uh, granted, that doesn't really help that much with the bad events. We took a diplomat. We had an event that took away my diplomat, so that didn't really help. I still believe to some degree that world conflict here with Poland is possible, but it would require far more maneuvering than I am capable of. I think right now, at least far more micromanagement. What we have ahead of us, if I were to continue the Poland game, is a war against Muscovy. That's a certainty. We have to stop Muscovy here and now. And that's just how it is. Basically, that allows Castile, Portugal, Aragon, France, England to start a colonization game. And without, with me not having no chance to stop them, which will lead to a lot more wars and a lot more trouble. If we look at the Ottoman game instead... It's a little bit less hairy, so to speak. We have good control here, good base of land. We are on our way up to Muscovy, although we are a little bit, well, further down south than I would, uh, would have preferred. We can piece the Vassalized Golden Horde, which we can then use to take some course back, which is also positive. In Iberia, we have uh, taken most of the coast, only Aragon is uh, remaining here. And all we really need to do is fabricate a couple of claims, take, uh, take uh, Mallorca, and then fabricate some more claims and potentially just go for the annex, but... We'll have to see. If I get Aragon out of the other way, then things are looking good. We also have vassalized the Portuguese, so they will be doing a lot of colonization for us, I believe. So that's not really a uh, a worry. And as you can see, just as in the uh, the Polish game, we are also in England. But, uh, well, we're actually in the same situation, but except for I haven't actually vassalized Scotland. But we have a basis of just landing the soldiers before the war begins. So it's not really an issue, so to speak. We have... A fairly good opportunity to do what we want to. We have also a all right ruler at this stage. And we're also pretty high up in the military tech department. So I actually don't have any concerns in the Ottoman game. Uh, the only real concern I think is the coalitions. The uh, coalition that could potentially declare war on me right now. Castile, Aragon, France, England. No, not England. My apologies. France, Aragon, Austria and Castile. That is the four biggest I believe of the uh, coalition with Venice and Denmark being contenders so as you might imagine coalition aid could definitely be a problem i have to try and well play around that but again i think the way to do this will be then to securing the western coast securing the british isles securing the mediterranean from possibly taking out morocco myself or see if we can get a union with either morocco or tunisia either of them is actually fine both would be good and if I can do that, then I'm pretty sure Portugal will be able to colonize everything on, on their own. I don't want to make them too big and too troublesome to deal with either, so they'll stay small. I can take colonization ideas myself after a while, so it's not really it's not really an issue. And also, as you know, I haven't actually well bothered going east yet. But uh, with the protectorates, I can most likely make something work there. So it shouldn't be a problem. Other than that, I'm a little bit unsure if my technology group allows me to vassalize the Indian... Uh, Indian nation, but if it does, then I'm definitely ahead. And also with the Ottoman ideas, I can call things a lot quicker than I can with Poland, for instance. So I think we are going to continue with the Ottomans. Should, if any of you do want me to continue the Poland game, though, see what I can do. Potentially go for Poland, can Poland into space? Just tell me, and I'll probably do that once I'm done with the Ottoman game. That'll be in a couple of months, though, so uh, I have a lot of time to decide. I should probably have gone a little bit deeper on this one, but uh, I basically believe that the Ottoman, the Ottomans are far stronger, and uh, I probably overestimated myself when I went with uh, with Poland. But uh, I'll continue the Ottoman game for now, and hopefully I can learn enough from this one to actually be able to continue the Poland game and take that one into success. 
we'll see. Thank you for watching, please leave a comment, phrase, criticism, anything you feel like, and hopefully I'll see you around next time. Bye.